all you WWE fans out there. Hey, I said I'd be back and let people know how my predictions for WrestleMania 27 turned out. Well, WrestleMania 27 is over, and it's time for the results. Let's start things off by just saying I am really pissed off that the United States Championship match with Sheamus versus Daniel Bryan was bumped from the roster at the last moment. That was some bullshit. Well, let's start with what match did actually begin WrestleMania for the first time in WrestleMania history. WrestleMania began with the World Heavyweight Title match. Edge versus Alberto Del Rio. I had picked Alberto Del Rio because I had assumed the winning WrestleMania would complete this odd character arc that he was going to have and then we were going to watch as post WrestleMania see him lose it all like Abel. Well, I was wrong. Edge successfully defended his title. Go Edge. One wrong. Not exactly a good start to Wrestlemania. Let's go to the 8-man tag team match next. The Core versus The Big Show. Kofi Kingston, Kane, Santino Morellas. And while I hate Santino Morellas, and I predicted the core to win, this was probably the weakest match of the evening. Blinked and you would have missed it. It was like less than a minute long. But, needless to say, the big show, Kane, Kofi Kingston, and Santino won. So, I got two wrong so far. So let's move on to the Rey Mysterio Cody Rhodes match. I picked Cody and I was right. Holy shit. And here I thought I was gonna have a complete shit record. My first prediction timeout. Let's move on to Randy Orton versus CM Punk. Probably my third favorite match of the night. I was really impressed with both CM Punk and Randy and it was really neat to see Randy Orton actually play a victim for like the first time in a while, a long while, not since I think his first championship run have I seen him actually be the underdog. Awesome. He won. He successfully took out CM Punk with of course an RKO. I predicted I predicted Randy Orton to win. I was right. I am two for two. Nice. Jerry Lawler versus Michael Cole. While I certainly enjoyed watching Cole squirm for a while, and while it was certainly fun seeing Stone Cold Steve Austin deliver a few stunners at WrestleMania again, Jerry Lawler technically won the match, however, thanks to laptop interference, it was technically a victory for Cole. I'm not sure how this one will play out. I predicted Jerry Lawler to win. Jerry Lawler technically won, but however in the record books, it is seen that Michael Cole was the victor due to disqualification. So I'm not really sure if this was a victory for me or a defeat. However, since it's my show, I'm going to say I am 3-2. and two. Get over it, people. Jerry Lawler won. After Jerry Lawler, we had the amazing best match of the evening, The Undertaker versus Triple H. I had so much fun watching this match. It was amazing. I was impressed with both parties. And while I'm not entirely sure if Undertaker is okay or not, for those of you who are unaware, he was carted off afterwards to, oh, I'm sure, emergency care. I think the third stunner may have landed wrong. And if you noticed, at one point during the match, he was trying to get feeling back into his fingers, which tells me he may have suffered some kind of neck injury. However, saying all that, he still kept his undefeated streak intact thanks to a submission maneuver, Hell's Gate. I 
and four and two. Not too bad so far. So let's move on to the uh, worst match of the evening. John Morrison, Trish Stratus, and uh, the midget that shall not be named versus Dolph Ziggler and Lay Cool. A rather quick match. A few moments, I mean. About, you know, ten minutes at best. However, I was right in my prediction of Team Snooki. <laughs> because Team Snooki won. In fact, Snooki got the pit. I didn't want to be right, but I was right again. This brings us to the main event. John Cena versus The Miz for the WWE Championship. I picked John Cena. Happily, I was wrong. John Cena lost twice. Partially thinks to interference from The Rock with a rock bottom. The Miz was able to retain his championship for better or worse. And after Raw, we've learned something we were all excited and hoping for. An actual match between John Cena and The Rock at next year's WrestleMania. I am both excited and extremely not. On the one hand, I kind of wanted retribution immediately. On the other hand, I really, really wanted to see The Rock return to WWE. The fact that I have to wait a whole another year to see The Rock in any kind of WWE situation. To see The Rock in either a Raw or any kind of wrestling situation is annoying as hell. But beggars can't be choosers. All in all, I got five predictions right and three wrong. Not too shabby. Better than some psychics even. Well, let me know how your predictions turned out. If you did as good as I did, worse, better.